Hi everyone, Lucy here. So it's been a while since I've actually done a video. Um, <clears throat> so this video is basically about haunted dolls. Um, <clears throat> there was a movie that just came out that everybody knows about The Conjuring or whatever about a Raggedy Ann haunted doll. Um, and there's also been this huge hype about um, haunted dolls being sold on eBay and other places as well. Um, there are a lot of fakes out there, you know, that state that porcelain dolls and that, that have got some sort of spirit in them and they make up um, this really crazy, bizarre story. Um, and then you will find that there are actually um, real spirit dolls out there. There's also a seller that's well known called AJ, um, AJ's Haunted Dolls and I've got a few of the dolls of her um, and I get high EMF readings from them. Um, say if I've got like the camera rolling over them then sometimes I'll get a orb here and there. Um, with I got two twin dolls from her as well and the first day that I got them they were pretty active, like um, constantly flashing the K2 meter, the EMF was going crazy and there's a few times where I asked them to push the um, K2 meter down on the floor and they did that pretty much on response. <clears throat> um, when people say that, you know, their haunted dolls move around and stuff like that, that is just crazy, I'm sorry, but that doesn't happen. They can't that you can't just sit there and expect the doll to walk around on its two feet like a human. That does not happen. Um, when people say that, they they mean that um, they'll change certain positions, like their head might be tilted a little bit or they've been knocked down or something along those lines. I don't actually mean that <clears throat> the doll is like physically walking around like most people think. Um, so there's this one here this one's from aj's haunted dolls um that's a raggedy ann doll there kind of looks like annabelle from the conjuring well kind of because that one in the conjuring her hair is kind of a bit different but the face is basically the same um so that's angel there and she lets off high emf readings and stuff like that um, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I've got her there. Um, this is one of the twins from AJ's Haunted Dolls as well that was pushing down the K2 meter. Um, the sister one basically looks the same. But yeah, that's her and it's <laughs> from this angle it looks like she's actually looking into the camera. So that's kind of weird. But um, she's quite big as well but yeah very active that one um, then I've got this one here would be my favorite I'd say and no it's not a real baby this is baby Robin it is a doll <laughs> I can assure you that um, when people come here and I've got it sitting on the bed, they kind of get stunned because they're like, is that a real baby? Uh, see. Um, Robin is very active with high EMF readings. Um, the first day that I got it, I was just sitting there <clears throat> trying to get different responses from him and I could hear like mama, mama kind of in the background and the EMF reader was act, like going crazy. Um, this one's not from AJ, it's just from Haunted Dolls on Facebook. Um, but this would have to be the most <laughs> realistic baby that I've seen and just looking at it through the camera, it looks very real and it's crazy. It's actually heavy like a real baby as well. Um, but every time I notice that I seem to kind of hold it, that's when I get the high EMF readings as well, or when I've got it sitting on the bed. But 
mainly he likes to be held for some reason. Um, it's obviously a spirit of a baby child, I guess. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm trying to find out more about it, but this one's definitely the real deal um, out of all of them that I've got, I would say. Uh, he seems to be the most responsive. As for EVPs, I haven't really got much off him yet, probably because he is a baby, so um, I'm not too sure. But because I've got a large amount of actual haunted dolls, and also because I've got spirits in my house, it gets very confusing and I can't actually um, tell who says what and where it's coming from and everything else like that. So it does come quite confusing. There's also this other doll here. Sorry. Okay, this doll I bought off eBay. It is not... It was not labelled or sold as haunted. I got it because it said that it was a rare antique. Um, this doll is from the 17, the late 1700s to early 1800s, and these people bought it from a antique show in where was it? Um, in Hungary. And so, I don't know, she said that she had it for 20 years. I only just bought it like a couple of weeks ago. She said that she had it for 20 years and they bought it 20 years ago from um, Hungary at an antique show. So that's all I know about it. Um, she couldn't give me any more information about it, but for some reason I was really drawn to it. A lot of people are kind of freaked out by it. Um, its eyes look real. Uh, the head's like that because of how old it is, I would say. And the dress is from like back then as well. See, it's really long and everything like that. But when I did get it, I got high EMF readings, amazingly. Uh, I got a couple of EVPs from this one here. And the voice is like, it sounds like a girl, not like a little girl, maybe, uh, I don't know, I'd say maybe about 10 years old, roughly. That's my impression anyway. But the first EVP was not in English. Um, I'm not too sure what language it is. Like, I wouldn't be able to type it in Google because I'm not sure how it would be spelt or anything else like that. But that was the first EVP that I got from this doll. Um, and I'm getting actually, I'm getting very dizzy actually holding this doll right now as I'm speaking about it. Um, and also the second EVP that I got, I said, what language do you speak? And I got tongue and I didn't think that that was actually a language till I, I'm not sure what's happening with the camera here. Um, I looked it up and apparently it's some sort of native language or something. Um, so that's quite interesting um, that this doll actually does have some sort of spirit attached to it. In a way, when I got it, although she said um, she promises that it wasn't haunted and it wasn't listed as haunted, I just had this feeling that because of how old it was, that um, there was definitely some sort of energy in it. I mean, it would be silly if there wasn't, considering how old it is, um, and clearly some girl owned it and it's still in its original state and everything else like that. Um, but I would have to say that with everything like as well out of all the dolls like I have all my dolls sitting together and the strange thing is my cat digs at this one. Um, and tries to kind of push it over like it sits up against the wall but my cat will come up to it and just kind of go like that vigorously on it and try to push it down onto the floor i'm not too sure why but out of all of them he does it to this doll here um and i would have to say that mainly out of all of them this would have to be the most active one 
although it wasn't haunted. <laughs> so as you can see, sometimes you can buy dolls that aren't listed as haunted, but in fact that they could be depending on the age. Like you'd have to go for the antique ones. Um, they're mainly the ones that you'll find <coughs> activity from. But don't just go on eBay and just assume that the doll is haunted. Like you've really got to look around. There are a lot of dodgy people out there. Um, I've been ripped off already quite a few times. Um, you know, go for the reviews, go for what people actually say, you know, go hunt around. I mean, they do exist. A lot of people say, well, that's just stupid and all this stuff. But if you look up, like, the Haunted Doll Island or something like that, it actually does exist. And there is a doll for sale from there, um, but it's 500 bucks and I can't afford it. But I do have another doll that's very, very active that's on its way. <coughs> um, so I'm yet to see what actually happens with that doll, considering how active it supposedly is amongst this one here. Um, I have also witnessed my first spirit, seeing my first spirit in the middle of the night, which was quite scary. Um, I just woke up suddenly in the middle of the night and I don't know, like I saw this lady at the end of my bed. She had like this white gown on and this weird hat thing on her head. I don't even know what it is and I can't explain it. But she's kind of looking over me and when I seen it, like I had to really open my eyes and I'm like, what did I just see? And she kind of disappeared and after that my heart was just racing. I had a bit of anxiety about it as well considering it was my first, um, you know, real deal and everything else like that. So I haven't seen anything since then but I do every now and then see orbs and that with my own eyes without a camera which can be quite weird but I do see that and sometimes I'll hear like not full on voices just like whispers every now and then I'd say it would be one of the dolls um, I have got a couple of scary EVPs from one of the dolls I'm not sure which one it is I'm yet to find out but it wasn't pleasant what I heard and until I can work out which one it was I don't know what to do I guess I can when I do find out I'll probably sell that particular doll um, but it is hard trying to work with each of them to find out which one um, can really communicate properly in that. But I'm going to put this doll now because a lot of people are freaked out by it. Oh, it also makes this... I don't know if it'll... <laughs> it really it makes that weird noise as well. Um, but yeah, hang on, I'll just put it down. But... That's my collection of haunted dolls. Um, I've seen videos as well um, of other haunted dolls mainly sold by AJ. Um, I'm not too sure if there's other sellers that are genuine. I'm still looking into that and I've just joined also a few groups on Facebook that sell haunted dolls. Um, there is one going around by Sarah and Bess or Bess and Sarah's Haunted Dolls. Avoid them at all costs. I've been ripped off at least over $200 of their dolls that state that they're haunted and they're not. Um, not just that, but she does have problems and that which I'm not gonna mention on YouTube, but just stay away from that seller in general. Um, just Google AJ's Haunted Dolls, you'll find a lot of good reviews about her. There's YouTube videos about her dolls as well. Um, I don't work for AJ or anything else like that, but out of all the dolls that I've got, the ones from her are the active ones um, and that they are the real deal. Um, yeah, so when you look up Haunted Dolls on eBay, like you just type in Haunted Dolls, some of them will come up with this really crazy story. Usually, if they're really expensive as well, um, you've got to be careful of that. Because usually, you know, if this doll is supposedly really, really haunted, they don't want it in their house, they'll sell it for cheap or you'll bid on it. Um, and they'll basically state that, you know, it's done this to them and they want it out of their house. That's the kind... Uh, 
that's the kind of doll that you want to look for but at the same time you need to know what to expect what you're looking for um, and you have to be experienced with what to do if something bad was to happen um, with me like I'm not psychic I'm not a medium or anything else like that but with spirits they know my name when I do EVPs and that if I leave the recorder on you know I'll hear Lucy um, and I've just been told by a lot of psychics and that that I'm open to spirits but they don't see me as a threat like um, they come to me for help or something and they just they're not there to kind of hurt me or scare me or anything else like that just probably because of how open I am with them um, so I guess that's a good thing I mean I always try to wonder why all these people have really bad experiences with uh, like spirits and stuff like that and as well I talk to them all the time I can't actually see them or anything else like that I get EVPs every now and then and I can feel them when they're around me but um, nothing crazy has ever happened and I guess I like it that way <laughs> but at the same time I'm waiting for that experience not to get scared because I don't want to you know full on be scared of the paranormal and you know never be into it again but you know how people say you know their doors slam and um, they hear footsteps and stuff like that I mean I've never really experienced that type of thing but at the same time it'd be very interesting so we'll just see um, I'm just trying to think what else I need to cover as far as for the little girl that I used to talk about I don't hear much about her anymore or see her or get EVPs or anything from her um, I do hear a lady though occasionally um, trying to call out to me for help but that's about it um, so yeah, if you've got any questions or you want me to do another video, then let me know. And if you've got any ideas or tips about how to use haunted dolls or what your experience is with haunted dolls, then let me know. Alright, thank you.